of weight issues. And as you mentioned, it was a hectic day yesterday with, <laughs> with uh, yeah. busted weights. But you know, this fight is good, so it's nice to see that. Boy, Alex, if you ask me, if you put him in front of me and said, what do you think this guy does for a living? <laughs> Olympic wrestler would have been my first. He has the biggest tree trunk legs I've ever seen on a human being his size. Yeah. Um, he uses him to kick. Highly anticipated debut here. Fury FC. Let's go inside to Wayne to meet his opponent. Please welcome to the red corner, Zachary Reese. Zachary Reese, first time fighting inside the Fury FC cage, brings a 2-0 record already as a professional. Has won amateur titles at, with other promotions, so has a great background. It's very comfortable and somebody you're familiar with. Yeah, he, he's a big fella. He's a big guy. Um, I think I, I, Zach's maybe one of my favorite training partners because I can try to hit him as hard as I can, and if I land, he's not really all that phased, so I don't really have to like take care of him. Not that I would need to anyway, but he's a fun guy to work with. He's got a very elusive, technical style of striking, and, and he's a tremendous grappler. He's got the long limbs, he's got a good guard, he's got the takedowns. This is my first time watching Zach fight live. I was really looking forward to it. And I know he struggles to get opponents, and the opponents that agree to fight him end up falling off. That's why I got a lot of respect for Zolfagari for taking this fight. And, uh, and, and, and here we are, about to be in the Fury Cage. Yeah, and Zach hasn't had a lot of fights, Alex, but the last time Zach lost an MMA fight was his amateur debut against Kevin Holland. That oh, was wow. his last fight wow. that he lost in 2012. So this dude's been around forever. Our tale of the tape brought to you by Sheath Underwear. You see that height advantage for Zachary Reese and also the reach advantage as well for the 28-year-old in this lightweight, light heavyweight bout. Let's go inside to Wayne for our official introductions. Ladies and gentlemen, the following contest brought to you by HKA USA is scheduled for three rounds in the Fury FC light heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. Standing six feet tall, he weighed in officially at 194.2 pounds. Fighting out of Chicago, Illinois, today he makes his professional debut. This is Sherry R. Zofakari! And introducing his opponent across the cage, fighting out of the red corner. Standing six feet three inches tall, he weighed in at 198.6 pounds. Fighting out of Shiner, Texas, he's undefeated as a pro with a record of two wins, no losses. This is Zachary Reese. Your referee in charge of the action, Professor Joe Solis. Man, two different body styles, body kick for Zofgari. You see Reese with just 6'3 frame. This is going to be a fun matchup. Oh, oh, big shot already from Zach Reese. And Alex, interesting note about Zach Reese. All of his fights, amateur and pro, are first round finishes except for one. And it was the second round. Man, notice the poise and patience. I mean, he really landed a good, strong punch. Good oh. uppercut from Zach. So if Gary just eats an uppercut there as he makes his way towards Reese. Good knee there from Zach. Go the left elbow and he lands it. He's gonna go over the top of the right elbow, uppercut. Ooh. And how much more damage can Zolfari take with Professor Joe? So he's going to step yeah, in. That's that is it. it. That fight's over. That is it. The Savage. Zachary Reese with the big time finish here at Fury FC 71. Man, congrats to Reese. That was, I mean, he, was, he was just precise with his elbows and knees and strikes. And for Zolfari, a lot of times in kickboxing, they usually spend the first round to find the range and get their reads. But man, Zach started strong and landed a big right hand. And man, that right hand just really set the pace. You see Zolgari, props to that man for fighting this monster of a man in Zach Reese. But it's these uppercuts that I think they damaged the nose of, of Zolgari there. And huge shots. Joe Lee escapes Zolgari every chance to recover, and Zach was just on him. Anyone watching at home, 
That's a killer instinct with some real thought and fight IQ behind it. Zach didn't empty the gas tank. He wasn't just throwing the throw. He was laser accurate with every one of those strikes. Huge finish to put Zach Reese now at 3-0 as a pro. Zach Reese is a problem for that middleweight division or the light heavyweight division. That dude can fight. He looks big for a light heavyweight. Yeah. I want to know, what is he what is he walking around at when he's training? Um, you know what? I, I, I don't want to give it an yeah. accurate number. Um, I, you know, he's made middleweight a lot of times. Yeah. And I know he went through some opponent changes. There was a lot of logistic change up yeah. for this fight camp. It was funny. I actually didn't know his game plan. You know, as well, guard being a striker, I thought Zach was going to wrestle, but that was not the case. Man, that was a fun fight. Good to see Zach Reese get his first win here at Fury FC. Wow. 3-0 now as a professional, as you mentioned, Michael. All right, let's go to Wayne to make this official. Ladies and gentlemen, Professor Joe Solis calls for a stop to the action. 50 seconds into the very first round, declaring your winner by TKO, Zachary Reese. There is one, the 185er on the roster, Joe Bauman. I, I, he was asking for a challenge. And Zach Reese, a challenge accepted for a lot of guys, you know? I was going to say, Joe Bauman's there. Uh, by the way, the medics are still working on Zolgari right now, so it gives us a second to talk about what is next for Zachary Reese. Isaac Moreno, 185er as well, can work up there. Uh, I, think, I think Moreno went down to welterweight. Welterweight, actually. okay, yeah. okay. He's at 170 now, yeah. so... He's not uh, one of the guys to watch out for, but man, Bauman could be a fun matchup. Yeah, it would. Yeah, and I know Bauman's got one or two fights left on his contract with Fury, and I would love to see that matchup. All right, our final fight for the prelims. Here's our first fighter.